Selecting the right yearling bulls for your operation requires some big decision making, but managing young bulls once they're home on the ranch becomes a top priority. One of the most important times in a beef animal's life is from birth uh, to weaning and then from weaning uh, to sexual maturity and how we treat them there. Our critical role comes in at weaning through sexual maturity. We want to make sure we grow them efficiently. Uh, we want to make sure we provide them with adequate high quality forages, supplement that with protein because they are still growing from a mus muscular and structural standpoint uh, to where they do achieve an adequate uh, a mature weight or ad adequate weight at puberty. You know, young bulls, especially if you have young bulls that, that you've turned out, you know, for a breeding program, say you, you buy a bull that, that's, that's really still growing, you know, say he's a, a long yearling or a two-year-old, uh, and you've turned him out with a set of cows, you want to make sure that you get him back up and supplement him because he's out there working, and the reason you want to make sure that you supplement him because he is still growing. Uh, so that's very important. If you have a set of bulls that are still virgins and aren't out there uh, breeding cows and you're just still developing them through the winter, you have to keep in mind that, that when temperatures drop uh, and there's a lot of moisture in the air, that animal's nutrient requirements do go up. So we do want to up uh, especially the energy uh, a component of, of the ration and still maintain a high quality roughage. Breeding soundness exam is, is, is one of the most important things. It gives us a bit of confidence that whenever we turn that bull out with a set of cows that he's going to do his job uh, successfully. A breeding soundness exam uh, starts with just a physical overview of the bull. We look at his eyes. Does he have two good eyes? Because that's the primary identifier to when those cows are out expressing uh, standing heat. Uh, then a general appearance. Is the bull healthy? Is he of adequate body condition score? Is he a three on a body condition score, which is bad, uh, not necessarily good for a bull that you want to utilize in a breeding program because he is at an energy deficit. And also we look at feet and leg structure. Can that bull uh, motivate around the pasture? Because a bull has to travel quite a distance. They're ranging animals, or grazing and foraging animals. And then we do the reproductive exam. So it's really a very comprehensive thing. It's something that's very important. It's something that if we do not do and that bull is bad, we may have lost a whole calf crop. When it comes to buying or selling top quality Angus cattle, experience matters. Visit cotton-associates.com. That's cotton-associates.com to learn about our fall Angus sales. And join us for our upcoming sales at Quaker Hill Farms November 2nd. Deer Valley Female Sale November 10th and the River Bend Ranch Fall Bull Sale November 17th. Working together, succeeding together, that's Cotton and Associates.